Okay, now that we've turned the unit back on to the normal operating mode, we need to go in and do our calibrations. I'm gonna start with the flow sensor calibration first. To do that, I need to access the menu, which is right over here. And I'm gonna push that menu until I get to basically the alarm screen. So this is the alarm screen. Within the alarm screen, I'm gonna use the up and down arrows to navigate down to the exhale toggle volume display. So you can see right now, the toggle volume is right there. And I'm gonna navigate over into the middle position. So by hitting the enter key, it highlights the first parameter if I wanted to adjust it. By pushing it again, it goes to the middle. And then to do the calibration, I use the arrow up and it says, do you really wanna do the flow sensor calibration? And I'm gonna confirm I wanna do the calibration. And I wanna make sure that the end of the circuit is occluded, either with your hand or a gloved hand or the cap here. So right now it's in the process of doing the exhalation calibration. This takes probably about a minute. Initially, you don't hear much flow, but eventually you'll hear the flow ramp up. Okay, so it has just passed the flow sensor calibration. Uh, down below, if you did not pass, you would have an alarm here saying you failed the calibration. Please refer to the manual for things that you might want to check if you fail your calibration. So now that we've completed the exhalation flow calibration, we're gonna move now down to doing the O2 sensor calibration, which is found under the FiO2 display here. So I'm gonna go ahead and navigate down from the toggle volume with the arrow keys, down to the FiO2, press the enter key twice. It's in the off position, I'll use the arrow up. And I do want to do a calibration, yes. I will press the check mark to confirm I wanna do the calibration. This is a very quick test. Okay, so it's already completed the, the test.